I'm Thomas Smith, and this is a look at my RoboRock robotic vacuum cleaner. So this is a super high-tech vacuum cleaner, um, and it can clean a fairly large house. It's compact enough to get underneath furniture and that kind of thing, which is a big advantage of a robotic vacuum. It has a little bumper sensor on the front. We've got some brushes on the side, but then it's got this sensor on top, and this is what it uses to actually navigate around your house. And we'll get into exactly how it does that, but it's a smart vacuum cleaner. It's able to know exactly where it is in your house at all times and navigate intelligently. So it's not just bumping into objects and kind of bouncing around. Uh, it's actually mapping the house and uh, navigating around it. The other cool thing with the Roborock, you've got the vacuum itself, which is kind of getting all of the dirt and dust off of your floors, your carpets, but then it has this home station that plugs into the wall. And this does a couple of things. One thing is that it's gonna charge the robot uh, automatically. So when it's done cleaning, it'll pull in here and plug itself in essentially and charge. So you don't have to be uh, chasing it around to charge it when it runs low on battery. It'll go back home and charge itself. And the other really awesome thing, if we open the top here, you can see there's actually a bag inside of here. And there's actually a vacuum function built into the home station too, a much more powerful vacuum than what's in the robot. And when the robot comes home after cleaning, it's actually going to use that to pull all the dust and dirt out of the little compartment on the robot. You can see here, it's gonna to talk to me. Um, and put that into that bag. And then periodically, once a month or so, you can just take that bag out and throw it away and put a new one on. So you don't have to even be cleaning out the uh, compartment on the Roborock vac vacuum here. You're just uh, letting it automatically pull out all that dust and dirt into the bag in there and then throwing that away. So super convenient, basically it's totally automated. You can set it up on a schedule or go ahead and clean, or as we'll show, you can dictate exactly where you want it to clean and start it up at any time you want. And it's self-emptying, it's self-charging, so it's really quite autonomous and it's very good at doing that in my testing. Um, I didn't know if it would like get stuck or lost or anything or um, if it would you know fail to empty the, the robot, but it actually does a great job of all of those things. So to use it, we're gonna pull up the Roborock app here. And you can see I've got my robot and go into that. And uh, I think this is really awesome. So you get you know, not only the basic stuff like, all right, this is the battery level, but you actually get a map of your house. And uh, you don't have to create that. It actually, on the first run, the robot is gonna cruise all around your house and it's gonna use its little scanner on the robot itself and map everything out and create this floor plan of your home. I think that's pretty amazing. And it actually will detect the different rooms too. So when it crosses through a door, it knows it's done that. And so it can see that this blue area is the big open concept setup of my home. It's the fundamental section. I've got the living room, the foyer, uh, the kitchen. This is my island in the kitchen, this kind of gray area. That's my couch in the living room. The rest of this is all open concept. The red part is my laundry room. This is a little sensory room. Um, and then in here is my home office. This is one level. You can put it on multiple levels and create different floor plans for each level. So pretty amazing. I didn't tell it to do this. It's quite an accurate floor plan. That's the central staircase of the home there. And I think that's pretty amazing that it's able to map that. And what that allows you to do is a couple of things. It allows the robot to actually know how much of the house it's cleaned. And you can even see where it went on its last cleaning journey. So it'll show the exact path that it followed and it knows um, exactly what it has and hasn't cleaned. So it doesn't waste time going back and forth over the same sections over and over again. I think that's a really awesome feature, but also you can dictate, okay, I want you to clean a specific place and uh, you can go ahead and tell it to go and do that. So I'm here in my foyer. I can see there's a lot of dust and dirt on the ground here. So all I have to do is go into the app and I can select a room, but this is the open concept. So I don't wanna clean uh, a whole room. So I'm just gonna say zones. And then I can actually drag a little box and say, okay, I want you to clean this part of my house. So I drag it over the floor plan where I want the robot to clean. I'm gonna say, uh, yeah, just basically clean that foyer area in here. So we're on there, and then I'm gonna go ahead and press the clean button. That's gonna fire up the robot right from the phone. It's gonna navigate out, get its bearings, spinning around, scanning, making sure okay, I didn't move any furniture or anything. And then it's gonna navigate its way over. And you can see if there's something in the way um, that it wasn't there before, it's gonna just sort of gingerly see if it can make its way through. And as it goes, it's gonna be sucking up any dust and dirt. And you can see it is literally making a beeline for 
that foyer exactly where I told it I wanted it to clean and it's going to go through and pick up all the dust and dirt on there and it's literally the spot it's just looking at. It does still use that bumper to make sure it's getting right up to the walls and it uses those little sweeping brushes on the front to sweep any dust and dirt in front of itself to make it easier to clean. So it's going to come here, attack that dirt that, uh, that I noticed there in my foyer, clean all that up and it's going to keep doing multiple passes until it's covered the full surface area. And again, as it is cleaning here, I can actually see on my map exactly where it's gone. So it's gone from its home station over there all the way over. It's done a circle around that pillar, and I can see in real time exactly what it's up to. And here it's going to go and find that little bit of dirt I was pointing out, sweep it up in front of itself, pull that in. It's going to cruise around and just try to clean as efficiently as it possibly can. And it'll keep doing that until it's covered the whole zone that you've told it to go and clean. Um, so if you spill something or you just notice like I did, hey, my foyer is getting kind of dirty, um, then you can just dictate, okay, I want it to go there. Or again, if you want, if you have more like a traditional floor plan, you can also tell it, go clean this room or go clean that room. And you can integrate this with uh, voice uh, speakers as well. So you can say, you know, go clean whatever room or activate the robot. Or again, you can also put it onto a schedule, which I think is really cool. So it's going to go ahead and do its cleaning job over there, cleaning out the foyer, mapping exactly where it's going. But, um, you know, say I'm done. I think I did a really good job of picking up that dirt I was specifically seeing on the floor. I'm ready to not have a robot in my house cleaning anymore. I can just press the home button and say return to charging. And then it's actually going to stop what it's doing. And it's going to navigate its way quickly, as quickly as it can, back to that home station. So that's really awesome too. Once it's done, it knows where it is, it knows what's around it, scanning the environment in real time, comparing it to the robot's map of the space. And then when it gets back here, it's gonna go ahead and slowly cruise in. Um, and I should mention, Roborock sent me this particular robot to try out, so thank you for that. It's been really great to test it. And it's gonna cruise in, charge itself up, and, uh, and connect. And now it's, uh, it's back home, we can send it out again, or it'll go back out on schedule. Now, you can either set this up automatically, or you can do it by pressing the button. I'm gonna say empty. And when I say that, listen, it's gonna switch on that more powerful vacuum in the base, pull out all the dust and dirt. Actually, let's see what it picked up first. Okay, so cool, you can see all those leaves, dust, stuff that it got from my foyer area there. But then, in, you know, again, in normal operation, you wouldn't even have to open that. All you would do is just press that empty button. It's gonna switch on the uh, more powerful vacuum warning me, hey, it's gonna make a lot of noise. That's all right. And now that bin is nice and clear, all that stuff it picked up is in the bag here, and then I can just, in a very sanitary manner, throw that away at my convenience. Now, some other nice things to know about this robot, it will clean both hardwood floors, like I've got here, and carpeted floors. It'll actually automatically adjust its power level depending on the surface that it's on. So I have uh, an area rug, and it'll go ahead and go there and, uh, and, and clean that um, and adjust its, its suction level, which is great. Um, the one thing I would say is, you know, in terms of downsides to this robot, it can sometimes get stuck or get confused. So even with its pretty advanced scanning capabilities, like once I put a chair in front of its home station one, and uh, it tried to come out and it kind of got stuck and it couldn't figure out where to go. So I would say try to keep the area around the home base pretty clear or else it can get confused by that. Um, and I would say that it's, you know, got pretty good suctions, pretty good at picking up items around the house, um, stuff that falls on the floor, but sometimes really fine powders, like sand and that kind of thing, it struggles with a bit. I think it's better at like leaves and debris and that kind of thing. The other thing is that it is not a mop and it doesn't really do uh, wet kinds of liquids. So if you have a wet spill or if you, you know, your kid spills some uh, cereal with milk on the floor, you can sit, you can tell the robot to go clean up, um, but the, it's not really designed for that, and there's a risk that you'll end up with sort of gunk and stuff building up inside of the uh, container on there. So not a mop. Don't use it for wet cleaning or cleaning up things that are damp. You really want to just use it when you've got that dust and dirt and for sort of that basic level of keeping those floors nice and clean. 
All that said though, a really awesome robotic vacuum, just so many cool features. I love the fact that it can scan the house and know exactly where to go. Um, your kids will love it. If, uh, if you have kids, you can you know let them say, okay, clean that room, and then you can tell it to go and do that. Um, I do have dogs, and they don't seem at all bothered by it too. It's pretty quiet. You know, it's not a super loud vacuum, so you could hear the, the loudness. Really just the only thing that scares the dogs a bit is the the cleaner in here that pulls the dust and dirt out of the dustbin. So I just try to uh, run that periodically when they're not right by it. But overall, really great uh, robotic vacuum. Thanks again to Roborock for sending it to me to check out. Um, and I've been finding it works great.